let's just jump in, shall we? 31 Wait. years. Yeah. Have you had time to reflect on this? I think for about the last year I've been yeah. reflecting ever yeah. since my 30th anniversary and everyone here celebrated and it was just such an exciting time. The seeds were growing even then about when it was time to walk away. And uh, I just feel so privileged that I got to do so on my terms. Yeah. And it's just been an amazing journey. As I have looked back over my time here, I thought about a couple of goals. I actually spoke out loud when I first came here and they were probably crazy goals at that time, but our team all together, we met them and I far exceeded anything I dreamed of in this career, but it was a calling early on, yeah. but then it became my passion just to tell people stories. And I got to do it in the place I love. I got to do it in my home with some of the best friends I've ever had. That's the thing about TV too, is that it's so rare where you get to do it at home. Right. Yeah, where you grew up with, with really all your, your people around. Yeah, I'm from a huge family, as you guys know, in Campbellsville. And I always knew I wanted to stay close. We were tight. I knew my parents wouldn't be here forever. So I wanted to stay close to home and I was able to do that for my entire 31 career and I'm just so blessed. So changes that you've seen here. I mean, go back to, you know, <laughs> I, I know what it's like when I came here and that was, you were already six years in at that point. Right, right. But again, from where, where LEX started Oh, and wow. To, in fact, it wasn't even LAX technically no, at that point. No, it was we were action, 18 Action, action news. news at one point. <laughs> we were Central Kentucky's 18 News yeah. at one point. So, yeah, there's been a lot of change. We were, you know, a small family-owned company, yeah. and um, we served the community well. But uh, around the 1990s, we, we just up that game. We said we want to serve them, but we also need to inform them. We need to help protect them, give them the information mm -hmm. they need to protect themselves. So that took on a great passion for me for journalism and for hard news and for getting the word out and just letting people know what's happening and equipping them to make good decisions or, like I said, to protect themselves. So that's when uh, we started assembling a team and momentum picked up. We fell in love with the community and uh, it seems like they fell in love with us too. So that's just, that was such an honor to be invited into people's homes every night. That's, that's something you can't measure. That's not a plaque you're gonna hang on your wall, <laughs> but that probably meant most of all to me. 31 years, and like you said, you're from here, grew yeah. up here, this is home. Is there an, an event, a story that stands out as something that touches you more than others? There are many in different ways. I was a Kentucky Wildcat basketball fan from birth, almost literally. So I was there in New Orleans in 2012 when we cut down the nets, and that was so exciting. I felt like a 10-year-old again to get to enjoy that. But then there were times the community went through very rough times, very sad issues and things that happened. I think of the crash of Flight 5191 and how that just ripped at the heart of Lexington and Central Kentucky. I think of some of these unsolved murders around the region and some that are now still progressing. And to see finally a measure of justice for some of these families who went through so much, that's been a big part of my journey. And then things like the World Equestrian Games coming to Lexington. It, it was the Olympics of, uh, of the equestrian world right here in our backyard. That was so exciting. It was intriguing to meet folks from all over the world and to share some of Kentucky with them. And of course, all those Kentucky derbies getting to anchor right there on the first turn, the first Saturday in May, and once the first Saturday in September, to get to be there and do that for so many years. It was thrilling to my mother. She loved watching that, and so that made it even more special to me. And again, to do it with friends. That's, that's absolutely wonderful. Now, in the, the 30 plus years for you, Lexington itself has changed oh, wow. so dramatically. Yes. What do you remember what it was like then and how do you see it growing and changing even now? My son is almost 26 and I vividly remember driving out to Hamburg to the Target store to buy diapers and that was the only store out there. <laughs> so that should put it into perspective. But also downtown, how it's become revitalized. 
it wasn't a place you went to back in the day, so to speak. Sidewalks rolled up at 5 o'clock. Oh, o'clock. absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And now that's one of my favorite places to go on a weekend night is just walk around downtown or there's the farmer's market and so many things that have happened. And yet the soul of the city has remained the same. Mm-hmm. Good people just trying to help each other and love each other and live the best life we can. It's still a big, small town. It is. Yeah, it's it is just an a overgrown more fun. small town. <laughs> right, right, exactly. And I'm privileged to have uh, raised my children here. Mm-hmm. This is home for them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I remember when I got here three years ago, and you and I, day one, <laughs> went out and got a cup of coffee. Right away, you talked about your passion for home and for local. And it wasn't, you already knew this, but for me, it's like, yeah, you always, new guy coming in, you always yeah. want to say that. But in the last three years, you have exemplified that in ways. I don't think people understand oh. how how mm-hmm. close, how how much a part of Lexington and the bluegrass is in your very fiber of your being. You know, it's one thing to go out and tell stories. It's one thing to actually care about the people whose stories you're telling. And you do that every single day. I think that's the definition of home. You gave me a little cold chill there, Larry. <laughs> Thank you. But it's the people you care about. It's their well-being. It's it's something that is in your fiber that uh, you can't even describe. Someone told me recently, home is not so much a place as it is a feeling of being where you belong. Mm -hmm. And I've always felt like I belonged here with you guys and with these people telling their stories. And now home is shifting a little bit, but in just a beautiful, adventurous way that I never dreamed would happen. Who would have ever thought, hello, Miss Kentucky, would <laughs> move to New York for most yeah. of the year. But <clears throat> there I am, and I'm, I'm meeting amazing people. I'm starting a new life with uh, Justin. And, you know, the, the country around there is so much like Kentucky. Uh, it's unique, but there are things that remind me about here. The hills are just a little bit higher, you know. But I love it there. Kentucky's always going to be home. Do they, do they like, and when you're in a small party or small gathering there in New York, are they asking, just say something in Southern? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. And every store I go in, I'm hesitant to say anything at first because as soon as I do, they go, aw. Well, they go, aw. <laughs> Where are you from? You know. Have you thrown y'alls out at them? And, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I always found, too, that, I mean, not to give this away, but Justin, you met him in Lexington. I did. And he is involved in horses. So yes. to me, it seems like it's just a perfect yeah. synergy that it, you know. Absolutely. And our values and our personalities just aligned. It was finding that square hole for the square peg, you know, <laughs> finally. And it, it's just been, I don't want to say easy. Yeah. Leaving's never easy. Mm-hmm. Um, relationships are never easy. But it's just the right fit at this special time in my life. I remember when we were growing LEX, <laughs> and you and I were basically the, the public relations department. Yes. But I remember how <laughs> you took the churches, I took the schools. <laughs> right. And that's how we, we went in there, but that's how we also touched so many folks. Yeah, and it was close to our hearts. It wasn't just picking a cause. You had the passion for science and for teaching science. And for me, that was where I belonged anyway, was in church. And it just was a pleasure that this platform here at LEX 18 allowed me to go and to share my testimony and my story. And I was blessed far more by the folks I met than anything I left behind. You know, we're on the three shot here right now. This is unnatural. You're not <laughs> supposed be to be right, on the outside. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you have to be earning a paycheck to sit in one of their, those chairs. Uh. So I don't anymore, but it's it's been, it, it's hard to say it's over because it's just a part of me. It's been WLEX and, and telling mm. these stories and journalism has been a part of my entire adult life that it's just going to continue in in just a different way. I'm still LAX. I'm still your friend and your friend (laughs) and hopefully your friend. And uh, it's, I'm just not making money doing it anymore, I guess. It's going to be like, you know, when they always introduce the president. It's always Mr. President. It's always Mr. (laughs) Speaker and stuff. You'll always be LAX 18's Nancy Cox. Right. (laughs) Never Or the news lady, as most people out there (laughs) call me when they can't remember my name. Bill and I have shared this since you've been gone and we pine for you every day of course um as our friend is not with us anymore but um so many times in these last couple of months people have walked up to me um and just happened just recently at caneland and an usher 
ran. I mean, my son was, my kids were home from college. My son went, oh my God, he just, <laughs> he, he ran up. Everyone wants to know what you're doing. Everyone wants to know, have you decided? And when I say the, you know, gee, I don't know, to a man, to a woman, they say, I just want to be happy. <laughs> I really think that's, that's how much you have touched this community, that they'll miss you, we'll all miss you, yeah. but we're all excited that you're happy. In the last two years, I have not seen you happier. Yeah. And I've known you for a long yeah. time. And you've seen me happy and unhappy. Yeah. <laughs> really unhappy yeah. at times. So, but the last year and, and yeah. change with Justin has just been, you're glowing. Yeah. And that's wonderful to see. Well, he's amazing. He makes me feel loved and cherished. Yeah. And, uh, but even more than that, and I've told Justin this before, Justin, I was happy. Yeah. Um, I just came to a point in my life, you know, God has been so faithful. My friends and my family have been so faithful. The television station, the community has been faithful to me. And, um, you know, who could ask for anything more than that? And now, like I said, to begin another part of this adventure is just so exciting. But for someone to say they just want me to be happy, um, that's the highest compliment I can get. Because that tells me they have seen me as a real person all these years. And that's who I was. I sat out here and I was Nancy. When I pretended or tried to be something else, it did not work. Hey, TV's Nancy. <laughs> <Cox here. Yeah. laughs> the game show host, yeah. if you will. <laughs> but that at least a portion of folks out there saw that, that I was being the real me. That just, that thrills me to no end. Thank you for being a friend, for your friendship, for your love, your passion. Um, you make all of us better. Well, that. That's a high compliment because you made me better. Friends from the get-go, can't believe we've only known each other three, feels three like, or four feels years. Feels like 30 years, it yes, does. yes, yes. And Bill, yeah. I feel like I've known you forever. Uh, only a quarter century -ish. Yeah, only, yeah. Yeah. you know, almost half my life. Yeah, <laughs> wow. That is a weird way to think of it. I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, but we've always kind of joked that you, you were my TV wife. Right. And, and have been for so long. And, and as some nurse, you know, we're drifting yeah. a little apart. A little it's, apart. But we're always together. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. I value your friendship so much. Everyone in the newsroom, so many folks in there. Brian Neal, Jennifer Smith, Delena, Casey, so many people. I, I met my best friend here, Catherine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's meant the world to me. This job, what a lot of people don't know, takes so much commitment, so much passion, hard work and long hours, but also a lot of mental stress. And when you're going through that, you have to have folks alongside you who, number one, know what you're going through and are there with you. And yeah. they prop you up when you're having a bad day and vice versa. You guys have done that for me. And you'll always be my friends. You're not getting rid of me. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> we, we, yeah, we'll come find you. Okay. Right. <laughs> yes, that's right. You're, I will hunt you down. Yeah, you're from Nancy. We need to go up to New York and yeah, yeah. Well, we, we know where you are. There yeah, we go. Yeah, yeah. 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 And these one thing called phones. They, you know, they right. work pretty much everywhere. <laughs> FaceTime. I know. Yeah. That's right. That's and right. there are airplanes that go all the way up there now. Did you know that? Billy? Really? Yeah. Come visit cool. me. And she knows every route. <laughs> oh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> every airport. <laughs> exactly. All I'll say is that it's it's been a you know most of my career has been here with you, mm -hmm. and would not trade it for anything. We, we kind of shifted shifts every once in a while, but the 11 o'clock, mm -hmm. you and I were together yep. every night, no matter what other things happened, though that shift, right. we were always together yeah. from 1999 until a few months ago. Yeah, crazy, isn't yeah. it? About a year ago when you moved off the 11 into right. the 7, but yeah. We uh, ended our days together, yeah. truly, and we walked out of here happy and gleeful yeah. sometimes. I'm going to miss carrying your books. I know, <laughs> I know. Oh, after she had her back surgeries. Yeah. And yes. Nancy, like a lot of people, carries a large bag, and it was full of stuff. Sometimes two. Yeah. Yes. Right. And Makeup and curling irons and hairspray. Well, spray. that was that one. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> but I, I just, my upbringing was I was not allowed to allow a damsel to be in distress. Yeah, and so yeah. for years, I carried your books out every night. And I quit arguing. <laughs> I just said, here it is, Bill. Go yeah. fetch. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. But I, I love you guys. I love everyone here at LEX 18 and I'm not, nothing's ending. I'm just yeah. kind of moving on. Yeah, it's just the next phase. Yeah. yeah. Next yeah. phase. And that's, yeah. that's okay. And like Dorothy said, there's no place like home. <laughs> Both of you are my scarecrows. <laughs> and we wear it proudly. Yeah.
<laughs> that was more the Tin Man. But, yeah. man. Which one didn't have a heart? That was the Tin Man. Okay. Oh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Don't let him fool you. No, that's right. That's right. Oh. No, you, you've set the standard for us for so long, and um, the bar is high oh. because of you. And um, you've got a team here at LEX 18 that every day they still work to make sure that they yeah. reach the standard that you've set. Mm -hmm. When we that's, had that station humbling. meeting, you know, when, when this all was being announced, and I looked at all, we have, we have a lot of young reporters here, mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. And, but I looked at all of them, and it's like, this is what you want to be. You know, get a look at this, because this is also a rarity now in the television business. But this is what you want to aspire to, is what Nancy has accomplished. Mm -hmm. yeah. Use that as your guide. Mm -hmm. A lot of people do go to different markets, and they climb the ladder, and that's fine. That's what floats their yeah. boat, and that's great. For me, being able to put down roots and do this crazy job in such an atmosphere where it feels like home, where I feel like I have family around me, I wouldn't have had it any other way. Yeah. Well, I guess we probably should at least take a moment before we stop here and just let you look into the camera and you say what you, what's on your heart to all of the bluegrass okay. without us getting in the way. Yeah. My career has been a journey I <laughs> never expected. It's been joyous. It's been tough. It's been enriching to my body, my soul, my mind, my family. I have another family now here at LEX 18. But it's been the biggest honor of my life that you've welcomed me into your home every day. And you listened to what I had to say, hopefully knowing that I was trying to do so in an unbiased, fair, insightful, and compassionate way for you. I said for a long time, I kind of saw what I did as a community service in a way. I just wanted to be there to inform you and I wanted you to know you could trust me. Little did I know that I would get back more blessings from you and from LEX 18 and my family that I, I could have ever dreamed. I've worked with some fantastic people and Lexington and Central Kentucky have loved me and filled me with so much care and concern over the years. I'll never forget it. You're very fortunate if you can make your passion your career. And you allowed me to do that. I'm so grateful. Now it's on to a new life, a different time. I'm moving. I'll be spending time in, in New York, Florida, and Kentucky. My kids are here. But my heart will always be right here in the bluegrass. Thank you all for 31 amazing years.